gang. Uh, Need a pack in? Uh, yeah, and then I have, I have quite a few responsibilities. The main responsibility being I um, take in the animals, Stillwater Animal Welfare, that they were not able to adopt. So once a week I get a list of animals who have been there for a long time and a vet and I go over and we do health and behavior assessments and we pull out the animals that we think that are adoptable, that we're, we're not unable to find homes at the city shelter and we bring them over to our side and we keep them until we find them a home. Um, that's my main responsibility. Of course I have 10 paid caretakers that I'm in charge of. I take care of volunteers every day while we're open and I'm also the supervisor for all the community service people that walk through the door as well. Um. So my big job is basically getting the volunteers signed in, making sure everyone has the proper paperwork, um, making sure everyone follows the rules. Um, like our big rule around here is just like dogs can't get near each other and stuff, just so everyone stays safe. So once a week we get new animals in our shelter. We don't do any intake from the general public. I think she's been here about three days. I love them so much. I, and then when I'm in the water and they're not Kansas, no more animals and I miss them. So, I decided Right now, it's pretty much just social networking. Anything we can get online that people will share with other family and friends, it really spreads. We rescue all the animals from Stillwater Animal Welfare that they were unable to place. Uh, they're a real small shelter with only 13 kennels. And as you can imagine, those 13 kennels fill up really fast. So once a week, I get a list who's been there the longest, and after a strict health and behavior assessment, we pull out the animals to make room for more income. Our dogs are special. They all have some kind of special story. Um, I, of course, am also a foster home for some animals, and so uh, right now I've got some foster dogs living at my house that come to work with me every day, so that's always kind of cool to find them forever homes after they've been at my house for a while. Um, one of them has, some, has Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, so we're trying to get her healthy before she finds a home. All of them are special in their own way, um, and all of them have a story that we love to tell. I did public health laboratory work for 18 years prior to moving here. Um, and my, we move around a lot. My husband works for the government. So every five years, six years, we move, and I've always volunteered at every animal shelter. Um, when we moved to Stillwater, I decided to get play even a more active role in the shelter because it needed a lot of work. It needed a lot of TLC, and I knew that I could make a difference. So. When the director position opened up, I decided to go for it, and it's a, it's a work in progress, but I think we've done a lot of good things in the last five years.